This is my retail gallery in Killarney, County Kerry, in the southwest of Ireland. It's a wonderful way to see my photographs, and it's also where we do all our printing and framing. In this video, I'd like to show you what happens from the moment you place an order all the way through to completion and shipping. Whether you buy in the gallery with one of my expert staff assisting you, or online, we treat your order with the utmost care and professionalism. Once your order is placed, it's logged in our tracking system and scheduled for production. Most orders will arrive within four to six weeks if being shipped out of the country. If you need yours faster, let us know when placing the order and we'll do our best to get it out within your time frame. All my prints are made on archival 100% cotton rag paper with a semi-gloss finish. This preserves the texture of the paper while allowing rich, deep blacks and vibrant colors. It's very similar to the fiber-based papers used in traditional darkroom printing, and you can reasonably expect the print to be just as colorful and vibrant in 70 years as it is now. Here the print is trimmed and inspected for defects. If any are found, the print is discarded and a new one is made. All prints are signed by me personally. Here I'm preparing an unframed print for shipping. First, the photograph is placed face down on a sheet of acid-free tissue, which will protect it during the rolling and tubing process. The print is carefully rolled using an inner tube to prevent kinking. The entire assembly is inserted into the heavy-duty shipping container, and the inner tube is removed. The container is sealed, addressed, and dispatched. As you can see, we take great care to protect the print. In the unlikely event that it's damaged in transit, we'll send a replacement print free of charge. If you purchased a framed print, the first thing to do is to make the frame itself. Here, I'm cutting lengths of molding to size. This machine makes a perfect 45 degree cut so that we're able to smoothly join the corners. Precision and attention to detail are key when making a frame. Having the right tools for the job makes it easier to produce a beautiful end product. The next stage is to pin the pieces of molding together to make the frame proper. We use a foot operated underpinner for this job. Wedges of metal are driven up into the corners which bind the pieces together. A beautiful, smooth join is the result, and no glue is necessary. After joining the frame, we cut the backing board and glass to size. Here you see the glass cutting process. If your order is being shipped, we use high quality acrylic instead. This is just as clear as glass and is actually a more expensive material. We offer this as a complementary service to minimize the risk of breakage en route. To keep them perfectly flat, larger photographs are dry mounted directly onto the backing board. The process is fully archival and ensures the print doesn't shift in its frame over time. Frame assembly is the most time consuming part of the operation. First, the glass is fitted into the frame after it's been thoroughly cleaned. Next, the print on its backing board is added. We check for dust at all times and sometimes have to open everything up to remove a speck two or three times before we're satisfied. Once we're happy the frame is dust free, the back is pinned into place and the edge is taped to prevent dust migrating in over time. Once this is done, it's time to add the string and the frame is ready to hang. The final step is to make a custom box for your photograph. This is built from scratch in the workshop and is tailored specifically to your order. It's sturdy enough to tolerate rough handling on its way to you and these boxes have an excellent track record.